Hi there, welcome to Enhanced Fitness. Uh, today we're gonna go run you through a pretty tasty lower body focused session. Um, we want to sort of make sure that you're using your lower body, not neglecting it, and not just at home doing press ups, trying to build your, your chest up uh, if you're for beach season, that's inevitably gonna come, hopefully. Um, with this, if you have weight at home, or you can grab some weight, a baby, or a dog, or a couple cans of beer, you've got a kettlebell, you've got a dumbbell, whatever you have that can load you up, then by all means, load yourself up. This is to be done quite slow and controlled with a good tempo. Um, not everything needs to be done da -da 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 -da, full on hit training. This one here should take around about 30, 30, 40 minutes after your warm up. Um, a little bit less if you just take a little bit less rest time, but it should be quite tough on the lower body all the way through there. You have three different sets or three different sort of rounds of things. You can do four rounds of each, four to five rounds, depending on how you feel on the day. Um, and then you have about a 30 second to 60 second rest between rounds. Uh, and then before you move on to the next uh, cluster of sets, take a bit of time, a uh, minute and a half, two minutes, and then get back into it. Everything will be described in the description of the bio of this video. Uh, enjoy, this is quite fun this one. Right, exercise number one, <clears throat> a static split squat. So, you want to stay, sit up into this position here where you're actually in that static position. Okay, the secret's in the name, it is not moving back and forward side to side, you are just going up and down. So you're going into a static split squat, up and down. You're aiming to get to 15 reps. So if you've got dumbbells to the side, kettlebells up here, baby here, dog here, okay, you're trying to get to 15 reps. Try not to drive your knees over your toes, okay? And try as best as possible, keep your hips square as possible without any sort of caving in and caving out. 15 on each side, switch to the other side, and to there. Do not be too narrow, so you're into there, you're aiming for a 90 and 90 on your, on your leg. What that means is just 90 degrees on the front, 90 degrees on the bottom. The second exercise is a bit of a personal favorite here. It's a curtsy to lateral. Remember in previous videos, I would have said, Curtsy like Kate, not like Megan. Okay, so you're gonna curtsy to a lateral. Okay, curtsy to a lateral. I mean, look how great my hands up. Curtsy to a lateral. Once again, if you have weight, load onto there. When I mean curtsy like Kate, into a nice curtsy. Don't really open up like Megan and curtsy like Megan, okay? So you're gonna curtsy like Kate, eight on one side, eight, eight, and eight on each, and then we're going to move into a bit of a, to a jump squat to start with. So exercise number three is a jump squat. So from here, a slow down, big jump up, slow down, big jump up. Make sure you control that landing. Okay, you're not <coughs> landing in a tombstone. So you land soft, big jump, land soft, big jump. You're aiming for about 12 reps there. Now that's just to get your heart rate shooting through the roof. So you can earn your rest of about 30 to 60 seconds. Do four sets of that and then we move on. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed your rest. Here we go into the cluster number two of this lower body workout. You're gonna to need to grab yourself a stool, a kitchen sink, uh, we have farm benches in our kitchen, so either a farm bench or a sofa, anything that can elevate your rear foot. So we're going to a Bulgarian split squat. Um, everyone knows that enhance, and this is one of my favorite exercises. Not necessarily everyone else's. We've just got a random office chair here. Uh, from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna see to the name again, guys. Rear foot elevate. So we're gonna elevate our rear foot. Now, you can either be toes up or toes down. It is a personal preference, okay? It's up to you. What you're trying to do here is try to work straight on down. So you're trying to go all the way down. Once again, if you have weight, load yourself up all the way down. Try to get your knee as close to the ground as possible. If you're on your toes, same thing applies. Okay, we're aiming to get around about 12 on each side. 12 on each side. Once again, try not to cave under each other. Keep your hips as square as possible. My big tip for this one is, don't drive your toes through the front of your foot. Let's put a bit more pressure onto the heel, through the midfoot, so the whole foot is doing the work to make sure the glutes are doing more work than what the quads will. That's quite a tough exercise. Exercise number two is a bit more advanced. Um, I, want you to th I want you to think of a clock face. So you've got midnight, one o'clock, two o'clock, midnight, 12 o'clock, sorry, 11 and 10. We're gonna do what's called a two to 10, an internal rotation lunge. From here, 
your rear foot remains straight at all times. So the foot that's staying behind remains completely locked. I'm gonna go out to a two o'clock, I'm gonna internally rotate, I'm gonna sink into that lunge. So very much like a lateral lunge, where we keep our leg completely straight, we're loading into that part there, getting an adductor stretch going on. Okay, same thing again, we're gonna go for around about eight on one side for two o'clock, okay? And then set ourselves up again, and then eight on one side for 10 o'clock. The key is, if you watch this closely, the key is not to let that foot slide around. You wanna make sure you are determined by what happens on that back leg. So it's just an internal rotation lunge, okay? Two o'clock, 10 o'clock, eight on each side. And then a bit more of a technical jump squat. So think kettlebell swing, it's where you hip hinge, okay, it all comes from the hinge, hamstrings. As we do the kettlebell swing, we normally jump and we load, okay, and that's all from the glute. The same thing applies with this jump. It is just that much of a hinge. Arms out like you're going to do anything with skinny. Jump. So you load the hamstrings, jump. Load the hamstrings, jump. You're not sinking into a squat. You are sitting back, sitting back, sitting back, sitting back, sitting back. Jump straight through. So just a big drive of the hip. Aim for about 12 of them. Make sure you pause a little bit in between each rep just to make sure they are crisp and clean. Once again, guys, four to five rounds. 30 seconds to 60 seconds rest between each round. Now the heart rate should be quite firmly up there. Legs should start to be screaming a little bit. Hopefully you're starting to take a bit more rest here. You're actually starting to think about what you're doing. Um, here's our third and final cluster of this kind of stuff. Oh, something's coming up. Um, in the first exercise, it's a sumo squat. So, set your feet up sort of out, externally rotated out that position there. Okay, your hips need to be nice and square. Kettlebell, dumbbells, wherever, whatever weight you've got, just load it onto the front. And what we're trying to do is trying to sit back onto our hips, keep our knees from caving in, and we go down as low as we can before the pelvic tuck, and then straight back up into squeeze. So we're down, 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 and then back up. Now, you have about 15 of these, and this is the speed I want it to be done. So, five, four, three, two, one, back up. Now if you look onto a side view, I don't expect you to go all the way. You come up to where you feel your spine is still straight, everything's still loaded, and we're driving out. Big squeeze at the top, but not tucking under at the top. 15 of them. Back to our trusty seat. Okay, not everyone. Now there's a few ways we're gonna do this. It's a pistol squat. You have two ways of doing it. For the advanced people, we'll start with you. You can either go down, straight back up. Nice and easy, right? Slow control down, straight back up. Onto the other leg, slow control down, straight back up. If you're just getting used to these, and this is the first kind of time you're doing these, super simple, we just break it down a little bit. We go three, two, one, both feet on the ground, stand up. Three, two, one, both feet on the ground, stand up. And then when you start getting a bit more adventurous, three, two, one, don't worry about it, stand back up. Eight on one side, eight on the other. So you've got regression and progressions of this exercise. Once again, if you have weight, bang the weight in there and try that again. And then the last one. Because we've been doing a lot of glutes and hands, glutes and quads, let's focus on the hamstrings. So, in the previous videos, we've done the hamstring walkout, where you're up, walk, 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 inch, inch, inch. Then I want you to get to this point, and without pulling your feet back, feel like you're pulling your feet back. You're gonna hold for 20 seconds. Oh, make sure you're loading into the glutes. Nothing's loading into the lower spine. Woo! And then release, stand back up from there. When I say trying to feel like you're pulling your heels back from there, but not actually letting your heels move. You'll understand what I mean. If you're on a slippy floor, probably put some shoes on for that, or just hold and put all the pressure through your heels. You will know when you're doing it. The key there is not to feel anything loading in that lower spine. Enjoy, look forward to the next thing that's coming up. All right team, here we go. Five minute finisher, last thing on the lower body. The legs should be screaming. I mean, after those hamstring walkouts, my hamstrings are screaming already. I only did one set. Five minutes, AMRAP, remember, as many rounds or reps slash as you possibly can in that five minutes. Three really simple exercises, you'll know what they are. 
We're going to go first into a uh, single leg reverse lunge to knee raise, reverse lunge to knee raise. So you're trying to get the speed up as well as control. You go 10 on one side, 10 on the other. So you're just driving down, driving up. Straight into 10. Chest to floor burpees, but without a jump. So you down, up, down, up, stand, sorry, down, up. There's no need to put the jump in. And then finally, a butterfly crouch. Soles of your feet together, reach back, reach forward as far as you can. Reach back, reach forward as far as you can. I've kept this one nice and simple. Five minutes, 10 reps on each exercise. 10 on the right leg. 10 on the left leg, 10 chest of floors, 10 butterflies, go again. Post your scores, put it on your social medias, put it out there, add a comment into this video. Let's see how we get on. Enjoy guys, see you all soon.